new video eye products. This controls a Sony camcorder in length mode. It is controlled by a wireless PIR sensor. Uh, once triggers, sends a command to the recording box to tell the unit to start recording. Inside this unit is a standard HD Sony camcorder. Um, this unit is special that it has set up with a servo device to engage the night shot when needed to, when need to be activated at night. Um, on top of the box is the removable antenna. This is a standard SMA antenna at um, 900 megahertz. And this is a day-night sensor for telling unit when it's day and night in order to engage the night shot device. We open up the case here. You can see the control electronics. These are the control electronics. This is the battery supply. This is, runs four AA batteries. It controls the controller as well as the servo motor, what I'll get to here in a second here. And this is the antenna that comes in from the outside. Um, on this controller board, there's a set of eight dip switches. This is where you can make settings to control what the address of the PIR sensor is, um, how long the recording time is, the delay between recording time and going into test mode, also setting up this for day and night and 24-hour mode. Inside the camera system is a camcorder itself. This is the servo that engages the night shot mode and <clears throat> the camcorder is connected via a LANC interface. Um, we're using a standard AV cable that brings out the LANC interface for the Sony camcorder and this particular camcorder is an HD camcorder and it has an internal hard disk as well as records to memory so there's no moving parts which is a perfect setup for getting high quality video in any kind of conditions from very hot to very cold. The system itself is a, is a three axis setup. There are three screws to control how the button is pressed for the night shot control. Um, we recommend you set this up at installation time to make sure it's set up right because it's very particular. This be aligned perfectly. Um, the screws are easy to adjust and once it's aligned, um, the system should just stay in place in the box. The camcorder itself can just sit on the bottom of the box or you can use Velcro to put on the bottom of the night shot and um, servo mount and hold it into place if the camera is going to be mounted on an angle of any sort that you want to keep it steady. Typically, you, you won't need to do this. On the bottom of the box, we have a standard tripod mount. We have three one quarter inch by 20 holes that you can mount this for any sort of security camera system setup or mount or uh, just a tripod itself. And before we start the system up we recommend testing the night shot switch engagement and to do this we're going to put it into test mode and to put it into test mode it, we need to put switch 7 and 8 up on the dip switch of the controller board which is located right there. Once we've set it in test mode Simply power the unit on, you'll hear a series of beeps. When you place the unit in the test mode, the camcorder will be powered on. Press the on button once. You'll see the servo engage the night shot button and you can continue to press this to make sure you have your alignment right. This will just simply turn it on and off out of night shot mode. Now you don't have to worry if this is kept in night shot mode when you power the camcorder off because when the unit powers on it always defaults to the night shot mode being in the off position. Now after you've tested this, turn your system off, turn your dip switches back to the off position. With all the switches in the down position, it's the default position to record for continuous mode um, on sensor A um, and that's what we recommend. Uh, now that the camcorder is sitting in the off position, simply power the unit on. You hear the series of beeps again. And it will power our camcorder down. Now the system will sit here in a 30 second window period where it needs to warm the system up. After that we're going to hear another series of beeps letting us know it's going into an auto walk test mode which is much like the test mode we were just in. 
It's now entering into walk test mode. We can press our key fob to test the detection area or or we can activate the PIR sensor, which will give us an indication back to the controller box that we have good line of signal. Okay, the system has just beeped five times and it let us know that the system is now active. So now if we trigger the remote sensor or the key fob, which I'll trigger the remote sensor over here, the system's gonna power up and it's gonna record for a 30 second window. And this is in continuous mode. So if I hit the sensor again, it's gonna to continue to let the system record for another 30 seconds after I trigger it. So this is set up to basically record for as long as an animal's present in front of the camera. When it walks away, the camera will power down and go back into a sleep mode. As you can see, the time has expired. The camcorder has powered back down and we're now in a sleep mode.